What's up, YouTubers? Elric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow, checking out the brand new 2016 12-inch MacBook. So let's first, though, check out what comes in the box. You get the MacBook itself, the edition that we're taking a look at, it's the Rose Gold Edition. You get the power charging cable, the power charging brick, and obviously all the nomenclature. Now, as far as the specs go, internally, you get an Intel Core M3 1.1 gigahertz processor, eight gigabytes of memory, a built-in 256 gigabyte SSD, and as far as what's powering the graphics side of things, we see an Intel HD 515 graphics chipset featuring 1.5 gigabytes of shared memory. And looking under the hood, you guys can see the logic board inside this thing is really small, actually smaller than a standard smartphone. The 2016 MacBook has a 12 inch screen featuring a resolution of 2304 by 1440. It also has a pixel density of 226 pixels per inch for a very crispy picture. There is, however, though, a small caveat to having this great resolution on this 12 inch screen is that it's going to seriously tax the onboard HD 515 graphics and the CPU itself, which could result in poor performance in games and other applications. So for you folks out there who are wondering, will this thing do any rendering? Let's first check out Cinebench. And then if you wanna see how your MacBook or system compares, let's check out Geekbench. The 2016 MacBook weighs in at two pounds, so it's very light and very easy to take wherever you guys wanna go, but you'll notice that it's a very, very minimalistic design and only features a single port on the entire machine. The upside to that port, however, is it is USB 3.1C type, but the caveat is it only runs at half the speed because it's first gen. Also, if you wanna hook up anything else externally, like this little adapter, they run 80, Freaking dollars, that's right. So to use anything other than one thing at a time, you're gonna be spending some cash. Okay, so those are the specs on paper. They're not too bad. And if you like something that's totally portable, you can take anywhere with you, then hey, maybe the 2016 MacBook is your thing. Now we all know that this thing's not geared for gaming. It's geared for general usage, but let's see it if we'll game anyways. Now the first game we're gonna check out is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Revengeance. Does that mean they're getting vengeance like twice? It actually plays pretty well. Maybe you don't get the greatest frame rates in the world, but still the gameplay is pretty smooth. So it looks like some games are actually playable. Next up, let's check out Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, obviously this game is not playing well at all with the 2016 MacBook. You guys can see it's got screen tearing, stuttering, uh, nothing you really wanna take home and brag to your mom about for gaming. But there are some other games like Fez and other low games that don't require a lot of intense graphic performance that run pretty decent. All right, fellow YouTubers, there you have it. Everything you wanna know about the brand new 2016 12-inch MacBook. The good is if you're looking for something that's totally portable, has a great screen resolution, then hey, this might be something for you. The bad, uh, I don't like anything that you cannot upgrade at all. And with this, once you buy it, what you have is what you get, and that is it. And the ugly, this thing's 1300 bucks and 1300 bucks is getting awfully close to a MacBook Pro, which will play games and all your productivity will be much better. I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech and Tomorrow. Like usual, all the pricing and availability will be down below that like button. And if you like what you see, then hey, see you in your sub box. Off to play with the pink book.